Hi everyone, we've had this airbrush sent in by a customer saying it is not working. Um, not sure what airbrush it is. Ah, yes, I remember the conversation with the customer now. Um, the customer was saying it was a 150 airbrush and it is actually a 100 airbrush um, this is a very old 100 airbrush um, I'm estimating this could be a 15 perhaps 20 year old um, just take a quick look at uh, Uh, the customer is saying it is a 20 year old uh, getting uh, paint left on the needle uh, drawing it back and the air valve has limited travel ok um, so actually getting leaking back into the colour cup um, so as always we'll try the airbrush first see what we can discover ourselves and my first look and the needle is coming past the actual protective crown which is indicating either the needle is the wrong one or the tip and head is the wrong ones the overall condition of the airbrush considering it's 20 year old is looking very good and it has two notches on the needle which is saying it is the uh, medium I'm not liking how much the needle is sticking through but we'll try it and uh, see what happens So we seem to have OK there. Just putting a few drops of water into the airbrush. And the airbrush is working and there is the airbrush is definitely working um, I keep coming back to the sorry I'm just looking for some coloured tissue so we can see on camera what is actually happening and as you can probably see the airbrush is working there's definitely no bubbling in the uh, paint cup um, just put a little drop a cleaner through it yeah and as can be seen 
airbrush is working. So I think I'll strip this airbrush down, have a quick look and see if we can see why the um, needle is protruding past the protective crown and uh, the needle is looking in very good condition and uh, overall I am very very surprised how good a condition this airbrush is in considering it's 20 year old Looking at the uh, tip on the airbrush, this does look over the hole where the needle comes through, is looking very much the needle bearing is holding, but I have a feeling the customer's issue is the actual um, tip itself that has been splayed open or it is split and I'll just grab my magnifiers looking as if this tip is very well splayed open and it is I can see that it is starting to split I will give that a white round just to double check but I think the actual issue is not the needle bearing but the actual tip itself is splayed open which indicates that the needle has been pushed too hard forward like that and then it is protruding and been pushed the hole in the tip has been made larger and the needle is sticking too far out so I've got another head and just in case anyone's interested in the actual head part number it is 50-0382 and this is the medium head and tip and uh, this is the 0.4 uh, which has a needle with two notches on the end and I will just remove the, whole, the old head that was tight Place the new head and taking a look at the tip where the uh, needle actually comes out you can see a big difference in the size um, the one that I said was uh, splayed open the original is much much larger than the uh, new one so I do think that is going to be the issue with this airbrush And now the uh, needle stops as it just comes through the tip. I'm just going to put the uh, spray regulator onto this.
and then just bring the needle forward and now the needle is sitting well back of the crown in the place where it should be so I think we've uh, got the problem there sorted and uh, the customer did ask that we replace the needle bearing um, so I will contact the customer explain what we've found and uh, replace the needle bearing because he says he thinks it is uh, the needle bearing is 20 year old and would we replace it so we'll do that and uh, get the airbrush back to the customer thank you so much for watching i do hope these videos have helped to someone uh, this is the reason why we do do them and uh, just to try and help you guys out again thank you so much for watching